Hey guys, Coco Stern with a delayed why you should because I started studying um, and I kind of took bad t time. Man, yeah, I just didn't do it yesterday and I had school and now I have I had school as well. Uh, when I say school, it sounds like I'm in high school. It isn't. But um, yeah, sorry. So let's do why you should anyways. I have a cool topic today which is something I've been wanting to talk about for quite a long time, so now I finally get the chance to do so, and it's about food! Mmm, I love food. So, um, it's mostly breakfast and pre-fast. So pre-fast is the last thing you eat before you go to sleep, which makes sense, that's why it's called pre-fast. I don't know if it's a widely um, used name for the last thing you eat before you go to sleep, but that's what I use. Pre-fast makes sense, I guess, or just the last thing you eat before you go to sleep. So, essentially, you're not supposed to eat anything before you go to sleep. Just so you know that, you're supposed to actually not eat anything for about two hours before you go to sleep, which sounds horrible for a lot of people. Not that difficult to do once you start doing it. Uh, even if it is horrible, you'll get used to it. And the reason why it's really, really a good thing to do, because it really helps your metabolism and it's really good for... Uh, food not to be in the initial stages of digestion while you're sleeping, so not in the, not entirely in the stomach. You're not supposed. You're just not supposed to eat about two hours before you go to sleep. It especially helps if you're on some sort of diet and trying to lose weight. Um, I'm never trying to lose weight. I'm trying to gain weight in most cases because I'm really skinny. But you're sh if if you're on any kind of diet, just make sure you just don't eat anything before you go to sleep for about two hours. It will really. I mean, alongside proper diet and exercise. It's a really, really important thing that really helps losing weight and lowering your body fat, uh, most specifically if you're trying to get ripped, which uh, I'm not, and I'm not trying to. But hey, this is important stuff. And um, breakfast is also the most important meal of the day, where you got to eat good stuff that are important. So pre-fast, first of all, um, it's actually a notion that came to me Years ago, I've been doing it for the last a long, long amount of time, and it's to, um, and it sounds really kitschy and stupid, but I really like it. And it's ending the day with something sweet, because, and I'll be really, really frank here, life sucks, and finishing every day with something tasty and puts a smile on your face before you go to sleep. And that's just, that's my reasoning. I don't know if that's enough, but I just like to do so. I also, I try not eat at least. It's not two hours, it's usually one hour, because it's hard and I like eating something. I like having something in my stomach. Um, and I eat a lot of small meals across the day instead of big meals, so it's just about an hour before I go to sleep. But I eat like a piece of cake or a couple of cookies, and I really like uh, half a glass of, of soy milk, or if you like hot drinks, like tea, or something like that. And you don't actually have to, you know, sit in your chair with a cup of tea and look at the horizon. You could play games or watch TV or whatever, but just eat something small and tasty and sweet like a cookie or a chocolate or something like that and it just makes you feel good before you go to sleep after a horrible day preparing for another horrible day of life does that sound depressing doesn't it so yeah that's that's something that i've been doing um for a long time you know breakfast breakfast is another matter because breakfast people tell you that you should eat healthy stuff because it's the most important meal of the day and you need energy and you want to eat vegetables and, and good healthy things and stuff um, specifically m most people say you want to eat you know eggs and and some cheese but I don't eat eggs and cheese at least mostly I'm, I'm borderline I'm veg I'm a vegetarian borderline vegan so I don't eat bread, um, cheese and eggs, and I don't think you should as well, but that's up to, I'm not a preachy kind of vegan. Do whatever the hell you want. So probably vegetables and stuff like that. Um, to all of that, I say, fuck, <laughs> screw that shit. I'm not going to do that. I eat cake every day in the morning and a tall glass of water. Now, the cake is okay because it eats carbs. It gives you energy for the rest of the day, I guess. It doesn't really matter what you eat. The more, most important thing is what you drink, actually. And the important thing is that you actually drink. It doesn't really matter what. Most people drink coffee in the morning, which is a horrible choice for a thing. Um, and let's talk just a little bit about coffee. Coffee is the worst thing you could drink ever. You should never drink coffee. Now, obviously, you're going to completely change your ways and not drink coffee, where 99% of people drink coffee. But um, just so you know, you're not. it's bad for you. 
Uh, I mean, I'm just gonna, you don't have to believe me, but all of what I'm saying is actually true by, by tons of research done. You can look it up online, it's really easy, and it's a very large misconception for most people. Your wakefulness level is here, okay? Let's say the color above, above my eyes. It's here when you don't drink coffee at all and you don't have any caffeine. So if you stop drinking coffee and wait for two weeks, you'll be here, your wakefulness level. When you drink coffee, it goes here. When you drink coffee, it goes here. And after you drink coffee, it drops. So you can't even see my hand, but I'll put it like here. This is where <laughs> my hand is tired. This is where your wakefulness level is after you drank coffee or when you wake up in the morning and your body is addicted to caffeine, which most of your bodies are if you drink coffee regularly. And then you drink coffee and you go here, which isn't where I'm at, it's here. And then you, you drank the coffee, so you get a way, way better, and then it goes down again. And you drink another coffee and lunch and goes down again, drink another coffee before you go to sleep, and that's three times coffee or two, two times coffee for most people. And I'm just here all the freaking time. Obviously, I get tired like most people, but the general sense of your wakefulness is way better if you just don't drink coffee. So that's just a thing. You're going to keep drinking coffee because you're not going to listen to me. But just so you know, that's actually true. So you should never drink coffee. With that said, you should drink something when you wake up. Best thing is a glass of water, tall glass of water, is the best thing you can drink. But as long as you drink something and you get fluids in your system, you're going to start all the organs. It's really, really good for in your digestive system. It's really, really good. And what happens for most people, and people think it's coffee that, that jump starts your engine, but it's not coffee, it's anything. And it jump starts your engine and it makes you go take a dump. And most people get, well, not most people, some people get it, um, drink something 20 minutes later, pooper. And some people wait until about lunch to go to the bathroom. Um, the important thing is that you drink something. Even just drink a tall glass of water and that's it. Don't even eat anything, which isn't the greatest thing in the world. But it's important to just drink that water and really help jumpstart your system. And uh, take it from someone who hates waking up. Hates waking up. So it really, really is important to drink that tall glass of water. And I eat cake in the morning. So I, I start my day sweet and I end my day sweet and the rest of the day is shit. And that's what I do. That's my advice on breakfasts and prefasts and about why you should. Um, now that I'm starting school, I'll try and keep doing them on Thursdays, but they might change to Fridays. Uh, maybe I'll just change them to Fridays. I'm not entirely sure, but we'll see how it works next week. And from there, we'll decide. And my back hurts like hell because I had to sit in a damn chair for a long time, which I hate. But it has nothing to do with why you should. So breakfasts are awesome. Yes, and that's the notion. Eat something sweet before you go to sleep. You'll feel better. Mmm. Life. Okay. Um, thanks for watching and see you next time.